The Bell Orange Longnose is an incredibly unique and unconventional vehicle that warrants a closer look. Now, as you can see, this used to be a 1967 Land Rover 109 Series 2A, but it was heavily modified by a team of German Gerrits to create a one of a kind off roader. Now, when looking at this thing, the most striking aspect of the car is its long hood, which is necessary to accommodate the V8 engine that powers the vehicle. Now, I won't lie, I did sort of bait you guys into watching the video. You see, the engine originally planned for the car was a Rolls Royce 27 litre V12 tank engine, which would have been an absolute monster with 1500 horsepower. However, due to restrictions and regulations from the German authorities, the team had to scrap that idea and settle for a more mundane 5 litre V8 engine that delivers about 345 horsepower to all four wheels. So, I know the title says 27 litre V12, and in all fairness, the car was designed to house said engine. The only reason they used the V8 is because of stupid laws. So, don't be mad at me, blame the German government. However, despite the downgrading engine, the bodywork of the Bell Orange Longnose is what truly sets it apart. Its desert yellow livery and massive tires immediately call to mind the images of rugged off road adventures in the sand dunes. The car's name, which is a nod to the real life World War I British officer Thomas Edward Lawrence, also known as the Lawrence of Arabia, is another tribute to its sand dune sailing capabilities. The bodywork is constructed entirely out of aluminium to reduce overall weight, which sits at just over 1.5 tons, and the storage space is ample. The hatch-style rear is a two-piece tailgate window combo that opens independently and a canvas piece can be used to protect the cargo bay from the elements. The modularity of the car is impressive as it can be a hard top, open top or no top depending on the preference. The glass panels atop the doors can be removed to expose the occupants to the elements making for a truly immersive driving experience. Moving to the inside, the Bell Orange Long Nose is just as unconventional on the inside as it is on the outside. The two bucket seats, lay steering wheel and cricket ball gear lever knob add to the car's rugged charm. The interior is designed for functionality with a breadbox style center console, minimal gauges and 5 point seat belts. The only entertainment option in this car is a Becker Mexico radio. But let's be honest, with a car like this, who needs entertainment? Just go take it off roading. While the Bell Orange Long Nose is certainly an impressive vehicle, it's not for everyone. It's lacking in modern safety features and driving aids, and there is no air conditioning or sun visors to protect you from the elements. However, for those who value a pure driving experience and a vehicle that can handle the toughest off-road conditions, the Bell Orange Long Nose is the perfect choice. Now only two of these vehicles were ever built, which makes them incredibly rare and valuable. The price tag for one of these starts at a rather steep price of $215,000, but for those who can afford it, there is no other vehicle quite like it. The Bell Orange Long Nose is a unique and daring tribute to off-road adventures and the thrill of driving, and it's sure to turn heads wherever it goes. I mean, this isn't something you see every day, with just two being built, it's a truly rare off-roader. But let me know what you think of this weird custom off-roader. I think it's a shame that they could not release it with the massive motor. Imagine how cool it would have been if it actually came out with a 27 litre tank engine. Like it almost spoils the car knowing what it could have been versus what it turned out to be. But let me know what you think. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you like all of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?